Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe the shower. Try the shower. <laughs> Safest place for ass play. Uh, shout out to IUDs and the OBGYN that said I definitely would be able to feel it. She didn't believe me. Um, you guys know LeVar Burton was just shilling for Big Rainbow, right? <laughs> Just saying. Um, I have so many. I have so many thoughts. So many thoughts to share in so little time. Um, I live with children. I date a single mom. I guess she's not single now. I wish my girlfriend would cheat on me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I live with children, and so uh, at one point, you know, she asked she asked people to clean up. She asked her, her, her daughter and her son to clean up, so one day her daughter washed all the, all the dishes. She washed all the silverware. I don't even know if she washed the dishes. She definitely washed all the silverware, and then she dried it all by laying it out on the floor <laughs> and individually dry each piece, which I thought was really great. I had one other joke I wanted to tell. Oh. Have you guys heard of this movement for white separatism? Yeah, white separatist movement. I'm all for it. Check out Mars, homie. It's available. They said they're gonna let people move to Mars. I was like, uh, oh wait, you have to do math and work out. Never mind. I always thought about math is hard, Barbie. Like, I always wanted them to make a meth is hard, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be good. So whatever happened to the other two Reichs, huh? <laughs> like, I know the third one ended badly, but, like, the first one must have been pretty great, yeah? Because, like, you don't make a sequel. <laughs> Unless the first one was pretty, you know, was pretty good. Um... So I yes, yeah, see, you got it. I, re I, I swallow the mic. It's because I, I know the front row can hear me, but what about the people in the balcony? You guys catching this? Awesome. Um, I recently realized I should stop calling my brother a motherfucker. You're helping or heckling. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, now you're still focused. It's very rude. Give me some jazz hands. Oh, you can't. Oh, shit. It's the roast of Jane now. It's I, I, I appreciate that you're here. I feel like you were, you were like the jewel that like allowed my friend who I literally walked to the show with to not come. He didn't come. <laughs> He kept going outside. I don't know, he said he had to talk to his father on the phone. Did he say that nicely? Uh, well, he's single, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, let's, uh, I, heard, I heard there's a second part. You guys have anything you want to hear about? What's up? Mm. No, nothing, anything? What's your deal? Oh my God, uh, I'm, a, I'm a house pet. <laughs> I've been a professional house pet for my entire post-collegiate life. Um, I will lick you if you feed me. What's up? Where did this show go wrong? <laughs> um, I mean, I think it was already laid out. We have three producers. <laughs> and we each brought one person, <laughs> more or less. Um, actually, I think this is great. Do you know, you guys missed a great show before this, though. I don't know if you saw on the list. Uh, here it is. It was Silent Book Club. <laughs> the whole theory behind the show is we're going to steal the audience from the previous show. The last show was Silent Book Club. <laughs> there was a flaw in the planning. Yes? You say your brother said, you call him a motherfucker? No, I, I have to stop. Uh, why? My mother used to call us sons of bitches, which I always thought was kind of silly. It sounds very... Perceptive? Yeah. Uh, I have a question for you, sir. If you could be any race in any place in the world, 
Which race and which place? I don't, I don't have a problem with my race or my place. <laughs> I, um, I think I need a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm missing, I think. I'm not sure. Thank you. I have a question. Oh, what's up? Raise your hand first. Hello. Uh, if you had to I'm just calling back to your own joke. What's up? If you had to kill one of the kids that you live with, <laughs> uh, well, let's see, I live with a 15-year-old half-Mexican boy who sent me a dick pic by accident on Google Photo. <laughs> uh, a 10-year-old girl who uh, loves to make slime. <laughs> That's like her primary thing that she does. It seems like in her room secretly is make lots of slime and look at videos about making slime. <laughs> um, I live with a an Eritrean alcoholic. I think it would be me. I would I think about killing myself all the time. All right, thank you.